Hi everyone, welcome back to Emotion. In this tutorial today, we're gonna learn the very basic of particular. So some of you might feel overwhelmed by this plugin because there's actually a lot that you can do within this plugin. I just wanna share some of the basic settings that you can use in particular. With particular, you just have to create a solid and then basically just drop that plugin from your effects and preset onto the solid. And basically, I just wanna show you how I created this floating particles. And then after that, I'm gonna explain each settings that I use and how it affects the look and feel of the particles just click on the designer button here and then it will bring up this window where you can play around with all the settings firstly under the emitter type what I did here is I set the emitter type to box and then I move around the position of the particular a little bit and then the emitter size XYZ I just kind of like brought it up to about a thousand and then under motion the only thing that I changed here is the velocity. The movement of each particle kind of like slows down a little bit. And then particular type. The ones that I change are the life seconds. So I change it to 10 seconds. And then the life random. So it's kind of like randomized the life of each particle to 100. And then the particular feather, which is kind of like the feathery edge of each particles. And then size and rotation. So this is where you play around with the size of the of each particular and also the rotation. I leave the size as five, so that's the default number. But then I bump up the size random to 100% so that each particles have slightly different size. And then size over life, I just use this preset here. So you can choose some presets under here and I just choose this one over there. And then opacity, the only thing that I change is the opacity random to 100%. And then color, I just leave it as white. And then the last one is environment. So this is actually slightly more advanced than these other six settings. But I just kind of like want to use this so that it kind of like has that movement basically. And basically the only things that I changed are wind X and wind Y. I just kind of like change up the wind here. And yeah, once you're done and once you're happy with the results, you only have to click apply and then it will apply onto your solid. Now I'm gonna reset all the settings and we're gonna start from scratch together. So once you put in the particular plugin onto your solid, let's go back inside the designer button. Now let's go through it step by step. So start from emitter type and at the moment the emitter type is point. So it's basically kind of like spurting out the particles from a point. So say if I move the position to the left and right, if you can see that plus sign, that's where the point where the particles kind of like spreading out. There's a couple of emitter type. The first three ones are the ones that I use the most. If we choose box, it's basically going to kind of like create this boxy shape. And then with sphere, it's similar to box, but as you can see, it's kind of like a bit more rounded. So for this one, I'm going to choose box just because I like the shape a bit better. Change the particles per second one. So at the moment it's a hundred. So there's like a lot of them and I'm going to reduce that down to maybe like 10. So there's only like a few of them. I'm going to change the emitter size X, Y, Z and I'm going to bump it up to about a thousand. So that size is basically just kind of like the area where the particles kind of like moving around. You can also change the emitter size from linked to individual. So individual, basically you can adjust the X, Y, Z space individually. So as you can see, when I change the um, emitter size X, it expand to the side. Emitter size Y, it kind of like expand the top and bottom. And then emitter size Z, you don't really see it, but it will expand in Z depth. We're just gonna stick to X, Y, Z linked. You can adjust the size universally. Now let's move on to motion first. The motion is basically how each particles move. And then obviously you can change the X rotation like that and the Y like that and obviously the Z like that. So you can kind of like play around with that. Usually I just kind of like leave them as zero, but it's all up to you. 
and then a velocity. So this velocity is actually the speed of each particle. So if I bump it up, obviously each particle is going to move faster. And if I reduce the number, it will move slower. It kind of like floats. That's the effect that I want. So I'm going to maybe like around 40. So it's just kind of like floating lightly in the space like that. And you can also change the velocity random. So basically it will randomize each velocity or speed of each particle. And I'm going to leave these two as this. And then now let's move on to the particle type. So at the moment, mine is sphere. If you click on the drop down menu, there's a lot of options. There's the glow sphere. So it's like sphere, but it's like kind of like glowing. There's also star and there's cloudlet and streak light. And then there's also Sprite, but this is a bit more complicated, so we're not going to do that. I'll probably just stick with Sphere. This life seconds, so this is quite important. At the moment, it's set as free. So that means the life of each particle lasts for three seconds. If you look at each particle, it will basically just kind of like stays for three seconds and then it'll go away. And if you bump it up to 200 say it will basically just stay on for 200 seconds uh, i'll probably just set it to 10 seconds so each particle will last for 10 seconds you can also play around with the life random in each of the settings usually there will be like a random option and i always try to use it so it just kind of like randomize each particle's personality i guess some of them will goes out sooner than the others kind of thing and you can also play around with the particle feather. So it's just basically going to soften the edge of each particle. So if you set it to zero, obviously it's going to be super solid. But I'm going to set it to 100%. So it's kind of like has soft edge. And then let's move on to size slash rotation. So it's set to five. So obviously if you bump it up, each particle is going to be bigger. What I like to do always is to bump up the size random to 100. So that way, some of the particles are way bigger than the others. Like, as you can see, some of them are way smaller as well. So it just kind of like gives more depth and more variation for each particle. And obviously, I'm going to reduce the size maybe to 6. For size, I always play around with the size over life. There's a couple options that you can do. You can use this pencil tool and then basically just kind of like draw like a curve. If I reset it, you can use this pen tool and basically it'll create some points and then you can just play around with those points like that. And if I reset it again, the other option is my favorite, which is presets because I'm a bit lazy to create my own curve. And this one is particularly my favorite. So what this one does is basically there's this graph. So the vertical is size and the horizontal is start and end, which is basically the time. So what that means is the start of each particle, the size will be zero because it starts from here. And then as time goes, it will get bigger to the maximum. And our maximum is basically six. And then towards the end, it will go down again to zero. So that's the kind of curve that I like. Obviously, you can play around with other presets and also create your own one, depending on what kind of like scene you want to make, obviously. Now let's move on to opacity. So opacity is pretty straightforward. Um, it's basically just the opacity of the particle. So if you set it to zero, then you see nothing. And 100, then it's all, yeah, solid. And again, I like to play around with the opacity random. I'll set it to 100%. That way, some of the particles faded out a little bit. So it just, again, gives um, a bit more variety. And again, for opacity over life, you can use a preset and basically you can make it start from like zero opacity to 100 and then goes down to zero again towards the end. Now let's move on to color. Obviously, I'm just going to leave it as white, but you can change up the color of your particles. So for example, I choose green here. Particles will be green. There's also some other options. So our set color is set to at start if you want to just use one color. But there's a whole range of options. And at this moment, I'm just going to show you the random from gradient and don't worry about the rest for now. So random from gradient is basically you can set the color of the particles. You can change those individual color by yourself like for example if i want to change it to pink 
and maybe this one to uh, maybe all yellow so it will just kind of like change those colors you can also use a preset here so if you click on a drop down menu there's already like color scheme that's already been made like that or if you want to just kind of like use free colors there's that too every time you click on this color bar thing you'll add one more color to choose so i can just kind of like change that to green for example and there will be like a bit of green color there you can also randomize the colors if that's something that you want to do but for this one i'm just gonna leave it at start and make sure it's white color so let's just keep it simple and then the last settings is environment so environment is under physics so it's basically environment you're controlling the environment surrounding this particles so that's why this gravity and wind gravity if we bump it up the particles is gonna go down because it's obviously it falls down according to the gravity but we don't want to do that so we're gonna set it as zero and then wind x y and z so wind x is basically it's gonna have a wind that's blowing on the x axis so left to right so if we just bump it up all the way there basically the wind's blowing to the right there but if you want the wind to blow to the left just go down to minus number and then it will blow to the left the same with when y so if you bump it up it will i think it will go down so it will, it will blow it down like that but if you go to a minus number it will kind of like blow up same with wind z as well let's have a look actually see if it actually affect much you can see it kind of like blows away from the camera i guess if you look closer yeah it just kind of like blows away from the camera and if you put it in a minus number it should yeah it should blow towards us but for this i'm just gonna leave it at zero and just add the wind x to about 100 so it kind of like slightly flows to the right and then the wind y to a minus number just a little bit as well so it kind of like blows up a little bit yeah maybe i'll add up the wind x a little bit more so that it blows a bit more now as you can see there's a lot of blank space on the left and basically what I want to do is to move the entire particles to the left. To do that we have to go back to emitter type here and then basically just adjust the position. As soon as you adjust the position you can see that plus sign so that's basically where the position is. So yeah I'm just bringing that to the left and maybe bring it down a little bit and once you're happy with it just hit apply and it will basically apply to your solid. Now, as you can see, when you put your playhead on the zero second, you see like a blank page. Sometimes you want the very first second of your composition to already have the particles, at least I do. So in order to fix that, all you need to do is just to bring the solid all the way to the left until you start to see the particles. So when you play it, the particles is already there and it just kind of like keeps animating it and yeah that's how you create this simple floating particles with particular those settings that i showed you uh, are basically some of like the core basic of settings that you need to know when you use this particular plugin feel free to experiment with it obviously play around the settings and see what kind of like look it gives you and yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you next time.